Israel for the song Hine Ani, song in Hebrew by Nasi Gomez, as requested by Yarana from the Netherlands. And this is a very special, very beautiful song. Um, it has some very rich, unique chords, quite challenging technically, I have to warn you guys in advance, it's not so simple. Um, but I will break it down and make it as simple as possible and I will also give you a few technical tips tips, <laughs> sorry, in regards to uh, how to practice it and, and improve your flexibility and fingers. So um, let's get uh, straight into it. We have, we have three chords, so not many chords, but these are like spatial variations on the chords. Um, so the first chord is an A minor, but we have also a sus4, right? That gives this unique sound, these notes. Then we have a G, um, also a special G. And then we have an F, also with special note on the first string, and then again A minor. Okay, um, so. How do we do that? Let's start with the A minor. So the first chord is actually A sus4 and it looks like this. Okay, I have a couple on the third fret by the way, in case you didn't notice. So we do a barre with the index finger on the second fret on the first four strings. Okay, we want an open fifth string, so not on the fifth string. Um, and we want the second finger, this one, the middle finger, on the third fret of the second string and the pinky finger on the fifth fret of the first string. Alright, so... This is how it should sound. Um, I will add also tabs, by the way, so you can see the diagram of the chord. Um, so that's the chord, it's called A sus4, and the picking goes... 5 with the thumb, 4, 3, 2 and 1 together. Sorry, the 4th is also with the thumb. So, thumb, thumb, 5, 4, index finger on the 3rd string, and then 2 and 1 with the middle and ring fingers. Okay, thumb, thumb, index, middle and ring finger. Uh, we do this chord once, and then we go to a standard A minor the same picking, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we do this three times. One time this chord, this is 4, three times standard A minor, okay, this is 4, A minor. Then we go to the G chord, alright, this is also a special G, so how do we do it? It sounds like this. Here we have quite serious stretch for the pinky, so some of you will not be able to do it right away. Um, it looks like this, we have the in first finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and we have the pinky on the seventh fret of the first string. And the picking goes 6, 4, 3, 2 and 1 together, and then 6, 4, 3, 2 and 1, but with the middle finger on the third fret of the first string. Okay, so seven, three, and we do one time. Seven, three times with the three. Okay, and the picking is six, four, three, two, and one. 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 <laughs> um, all right, uh, so that's the second chord. I will first show the next chord as well and then I'm going to speak a little bit about this stretching and how to technically improve your ability to do it. I have a few tips for you guys, all right, but first I want to just show the whole thing. So we have one more chord, the F chord, all right, it's, um, it's pretty similar to the G, again here we have quite a serious stretch for the pinky. And also, at the same time, we need to do a barre with the index finger. So, this is a pretty challenging one. Um, how does it look? We do a barre on the first fret, uh, all strings. 
we put the, the second finger on the second fret of the third string and the third finger on the third fret of the fourth string. Okay, and that's like a kind of standard F. But the pinky goes all the way here to the fifth fret of the first string. Okay, that's uh, a little bit tricky. And then we lift it, and then we want the, uh, to hear the barre, so this note. And the picking is the same, so 6, 4, 3, 2 and 1 together, and then without the pinky. 6, 4, 3, 2 and 1, 6, 4, 3, 2 and 1, 6, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Alright, and then we go back to the A sus4 and A minor. Um, I'm going to play the whole thing one more time. Alright, so this is the progression. Um, now let's talk about the stretching. So, um, yeah, this, this song requires a quite serious stretch, you can, you can see it between the, 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 the pinky and the first finger, or the pinky and the, the, the third finger, which should be here. Um, and this takes quite some time to build it up, so don't expect to immediately be able to do it. It's kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of like uh, yoga for the fingers, it's kind of like uh, where when you build flexibility, in your hips, for instance, you cannot really do it in one day, uh, like a really big stretch. So a good way to build it, uh, first thing I would say, always wash your hands in warm water before you start, because you want the muscles to be loose and, and soft. And a good way to do it is simply to take the couple up, because then the, um, the frets are shorter and the stretch is less big. And you simply want to start somewhere where it's possible for you right now. For instance, here. Alright, and then you just kind of like go gradually uh, one fret down each time until you find sort of your, um, your sweet spot where it's just enough stretch uh, that you feel the stretch, you should feel it here, but you don't want to like tear the muscle apart, right? So when you find this um, sweet spot, that's where you want to be. So you want to go a little bit uh, easier, like higher on the neck, and then go towards your sweet spot, and then again. And don't do it too much. Do it like uh, maximum 10 minutes a day, not more, 5 to 10 minutes. Um, and give 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 your uh, your fingers and the muscles here the time to to adjust, but be consistent. All right, so that the fingers the fingers respond to consistency and also to a certain um, I would say neutrality. Right, like if you are pushing too much, if you want it too much, if you're frustrated, then it it doesn't work. So you have to be patient. Take it uh, a little bit every day, and uh, it will come. I, I can reassure you that because I work with many people, and it uh, it works. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, in addition to it, I might uh, also upload a slightly simplified version. I don't know yet if I will make a video or just tabs, but uh, I have something in mind that will sound quite similar, but a little bit easier technically. So I will keep you guys updated. So that was um, Ine Ani from Nessie Gomez. And I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated. I'm also working on a Patreon page, which I will launch very, very soon, where I will offer more exclusive content videos and also more um, online masterclasses. So these are online events that I host where I work with you guys a little bit one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask me questions. We go through the more technical aspects of, of, of the guitar and medicine songs in particular. So I will keep you updated. Keep following on my YouTube and the description in the videos. Uh, I also put my email here, so you can send me an email and then I will add you to 
that I can use later where I update on new things. Um, yeah, and uh, if you're interested in private lessons or in uh, song transcriptions, again, send me an email. I will be happy to work with you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the enjoy the guitar, enjoy the medicine, enjoy life. And uh, until next time, bye bye.